Okay guys, so the other day I had to build a custom project and because of the nature of that project, we had to insert custom fields in the WooCommerce product page based on specific criteria and also using a conditional logic. So the only solution I could find was this one here from WooCommerce themselves. But as you can see, the price is 49 US dollars. Now when 49 US dollars is not that expensive, to be honest, uh, this solution is per year and per website as well so it's ongoing you know obviously so i looked around for another solution and i found this one here on the Envato marketplace so this one is only 29 us dollars but it's also a once off payment only so i bought it and it turns out that it's actually a fantastic plugin as well so let me show you so once you have it installed, you'll have an extra tab like this. So you can click on that and you can set the global rules. So if you set them up here, it will apply to the whole website or you can set them up individually per product. So let's apply this to one specific product together. Okay, so we go to products. Okay, and let's say this one here, personalized mug. Let's click on this. Very good. And now if we scroll down the page, you have this section here, the product custom option. So this is basically it, you know, so you can e exclude basically all the global options and apply them specifically to one product. So let's go ahead with this. Now let's create one specific rule for this one. So let me show you this product first, what it looks like in the front end. So let's have a quick look. So this is a personalized mug. So you can see that's a simple product. Uh, very simple, you know, 15 US dollars for mug. And then all you have is quantity and add to cart. Now, let's say if you wanted to add a specific field, maybe you want to engrave something like this uh, on the on the on the mug itself, or maybe write it by hand or whatever, you know, and you want something that's personalized here, maybe a message you want to put on the mug. How can you do this? Well, it's very simple, actually. From here, you add a new option. And then let's create this. So let's say maybe engraving. Uh, type it's a field is it required yes or no this is really up to you and then you can apply condition logic so let's keep it simple for now okay and the engraving would be for instance an extra five dollars this is a fixed or maybe you can add a percentage okay so let's go ahead with this for now so let's keep it simple for the first rule apply and let's go back to the front end so i'm going to refresh now there you go. And as you can see, you have the message here, engraving. And now I can type here, you know, type whatever you want. And then I can proceed to check out. And that's basically it. Now, if you go to the cart, you will see we have our engraving here with the message next to it. So this is one way to do it. So let's go back to our message, our product, sorry. And let's change this to something else. So let's use the condition logic this time. So maybe you can offer engraving or custom color. And whether and if they choose engraving, they have to type in a message. If they select a custom color, they need to select a color. OK, so let's go ahead with this. How would you apply a rule like this one? So let's delete this now. So delete option. Let's start afresh. OK, so we add a new option. So our first question is engraving or color. OK, so let's call this one customization. And the type of field would be a drop uh, down menu. And now we can add our two options. So add another one here. So the first one would be custom color and the other one custom engraving. OK, so we don't need to put a price yet, but we need to sort them. So custom color we show first, custom engraving second. And the order for this one is first on the list. OK, now we can add an option. So right here, we're going to say select a color. This one would be a color picker. And the price, let's say $10 for this one. OK, and then we're going to add another option. And this one will be the custom engraving. So maybe your message. So bear with me. You'll see in a minute what it does. And this one is a field. And the price for this one, let's say another $10 as well. And this is a fixed price. OK, so now we need to save this before we can go to the next step. So click update and now we can go back to our options here. So the reason is because to set our conditional logic, we need to save it first. And now we can set this up. So basically our first option here, we're going to show select a color only 
if in the customization uh, drop down menu we selected custom color and then the other one we're only going to show this if they select custom engraving okay so how can we set this up with the condition logic here so select so show if the value of customization so is that field here is equal to and now we're going to put the value custom color okay and the same with this one so this one show if the value of customization is equal to and we're going to select the second value here custom engraving okay now it's important to add an order so this one will show first and these ones you need to put two and two respectively very good so now we can save this update and now let's have a look at our product so quick preview now opening a new tab there you go as you can see this is our mug so first option here is customization select custom color okay and now i can select the color i want maybe in red but if i selected custom engraving i can type my message here so whatever i want there you go and it's just perfect isn't it so so you can see how easy it is this is called a condition logic so based on one answer you can display a certain set of options and if you select another one you'll have another set of options uh, available as well so this is quite powerful to be honest you know so let me show you a few more options here in the back end so basically this is how you can set up a rule per product now let's go back to the product add-ons here and you can set this up globally so it will apply to the whole website all together so let's add a rule together here so let's give it a name so test rule so order one and then you have the rule status so you can enable it or disable it so if you create the rule you can disable it at any given time and, and, and have it saved basically you know and you have the show option prices so well, how does this work well you have with product price or separately so basically every options that you're going to add at the bottom is going to add it on top of the actual price of the product or replace the actual product price with the the price of the option so it's one or the other you know so let me show you here the type of fields that you can actually add there's so many of them you know so i'm just going to put here test so these two you know them already field and area so field is just a text and area is just bigger a number is just basically like a field instead of text is specifically a number you can also upload a file so if you're in the printing industry for instance you need to to have a file attached with your artwork or maybe you want to attach a pdf file or anything you can use that as well so drop down menu and we've done that already so let me show you an option here that you uh, that's actually very nice is the radio button so you can select radio button or simple radio button so a simple radio button is just those uh, you can tick but the radio, radio button here this one you can actually add a picture to it so let me show you very quickly how this works it's actually very nice so let's say we have orange apple and let's add another one banana okay and now uh, we're going to upload a picture as you can see we have two different options here with product image or radio image so that is the radio image you need okay so we're going to click on orange here so let's add an orange we're going to add an apple here and we do the same with the banana there you go insert so now let me save this oh yeah we need to set the rule to apply to something specific so as you can see you can apply this to specific products or a specific category altogether so let's apply this to the mugs category okay very good now we go back to our front end let's click on one of those mugs and there you go as you can see you can select orange apple or banana Isn't that great now let's see what other rules we can set here so let's say instead of radio button we could select maybe let's try files okay so there's maybe no price for this and you can set the extensions that you you, you could uh, receive you know so maybe jpeg pdf and uh, png okay save rule very good so let's go back to our page here let's all refresh and now we can upload a file select a file upload and there you go if we add to cart as you can see this is a jpeg image we selected and there you go this is a file you can see it's been attached to the order so it's very easy to use isn't it now let's see what else we can add maybe let's edit this and maybe one more everything else is pretty self-explanatory you know field and all that you'll understand that very easily and maybe you can have a date or time so let's select this now and then save rule so let's go back to all our products 
let's select a mug and there you go as you can see here for instance you have a delivery date specific delivery date or a deadline you need to meet click on this click on the on the, the calendar here you can, you can select the date and that's basically it now if you add this to cart you'll have this one with the date attached to it you know view cart and there you go as you can see it has to be delivered by the 6th uh, 21st uh 23rd of the 6th 2022 so there you go guys this is how you can set up very easily any rules per product per categories or uh, in uh, custom products themselves uh, using this fantastic feature and again this is only 29 us dollars and it does the exact same thing as the woocommerce one that's only that's 49 us dollars and actually i was reading the reviews of the woocommerce one and apparently it's not that great at all there's a lot of negative reviews on it so all together i would say this one is the better option so there you go guys that's it for today thanks for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video